Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about MS test. MS test is an utility which is used for running unit test in Visual Studio. It also provides a lot of attributes which are helpful for writing test cases. If any one of you have worked on TestNG framework, MS test is similar to that where TestNG uses Java as a language binding. So these are the attributes which are provided by MS test. The first two attributes are test class and test method. Test class attribute is used to declare a class as a test class, whereas test method attribute is used to declare a method as a test method. So let me open my Visual Studio and here I'm going to create a new project. So file new project. And this time I'm going to create a unit test project. So let's say the name of the project is MS test project. So as soon as you click on OK, it is going to create a unit test project for us. And also, as you can see here, it has added a class named unit test one and inside we have a test method. So here it has used the test class attribute to define that this class is a test class. So this is use for test class. Similarly, we have a test method one and using the test method attribute, I'm declaring this method as a test method. This is used to declare method as test method. Now, if you look at the solution explorer, we have a detail about project. Similarly, if you want to see the detail about test method, you have to take the help of test explorer. So in order to open the test explorer, just go to test windows and test explorer. Okay. And do a right click on your project and build it. So when you build it, as you can see here, it has list down the test method grouped by the class name. Now here by default, the grouping is coming with class name, but if you want to change the grouping, just do a right click group by and you can send like different way of grouping the test case. So this particular attribute will tell MS test that this method is an test method. Let us suppose I comment out this attribute and if I build it again. So now MS test will not be able to understand that this class is a test class. Okay. And similarly applies for your test method attribute. So let us suppose I use console dot right line which is going to print some string at the console okay again I will build this project and in order to run this test just select the test from your test explorer do a right click and run selected test so it will start executing your test method and if you want to see the output of this particular test, just click on your output link. So as you can see here, standard output, this is test method one. Now you can have multiple test method inside the same class. So let us suppose I will create two more method. So let's say this is test method two. And this is test method three. Two and three. Again, I need to use the test method attribute with these methods. So let us suppose I didn't use this particular attribute with the third method. And if I build it, so here as you can see here, it has listed only the method with the test method attribute. So in our case, which is test method one and test method two. So it is not able to recognize test method three as a test method because we didn't specify the attribute. Now if I build it again, so we will have three test method inside the test explorer. Now if you want to run all three method, just select on the class name, do a run select test. So it is going to execute all three test methods. So this is the output of first test method. 
this is the output of second test method and this is the output of the third test method okay so moving on the other two attributes are test initialize and test cleanup when you use an at, when you use this particular method attribute that is test initialize with a method it is going to execute before the execution of your test method and when you use test cleanup attribute with a method that is going to execute after the test method okay so here i'll create two more method that is public void before test and here console dot right line this is test before test and I'm going to use the attribute test initialize similarly one more method that will be after test this will be after test and the attribute which I need to use is test cleanup okay so I'm going to comment out the rest two methods again I will build it and run this so if I look at the console as you can see here the method which is using the attribute test initialize executed just before the test method and the method which is using the test cleanup executed after the test method okay now let me uncomment this two test method and if I build it so there will be three test method in our test explorer and if I run all of them and if I observe the console so for the test method one both the test initialize and test cleanup method got executed similarly for test method two also the test initialize and test cleanup method got executed and for test method three the behavior is same so in other words I can say that the number of time I have a method with attribute test method the number of times test initialize and test cleanup method will execute in pair this will execute just before the execution of test method and this method will get executed after the execution of test method now these two methods are not compulsory you can have both of them or either one of them or none okay so moving on the other two attributes are class initialize and class cleanup if I use class initialize attribute with a method so that will be the first method which is going to execute inside that class and similarly class cleanup if I use the attribute class cleanup with a method that will be the last method which is going to execute inside that class okay so let us suppose here I, I will create two more method public void before class and console dot right line that is this is before class and I'm going to use the attribute that is class initialize and similarly one more method that will be your after class this will be after class and the attribute is class cleanup now again I will build up so before building let me comment out the two test method again I will build my project so as you can see here there is only one test method if I run it so this time our test method will fail the reason behind it that because 
whenever you use the class initialize attribute or class cleanup attribute that method has to be static so as you can see here the console clearly says that the method must be static public and does not return any value should be taken as single parameter that is text context so when you are using class initialize and class cleanup the method should be static and also in case of class initialize the method should take the argument as text context object okay now again I will build it and run so now this time our test case got passed the reason we made it the static and also apply the test context object now if I look at the output so first the method which got executed was the method which is using the attribute that is class initialize okay then the method which got executed is the before test that means this method similarly the test method got executed and after that the method which is using the test cleanup method got executed and in the end the method with attribute class cleanup got executed okay so let me uncomment out this and build it and run all the three test methods so now if I look at the console so as you can see here the first method which got executed is before class that is that method with the attribute class initialize then after that the method with the attribute test initialize then the actual test method and after that the method with test cleanup attribute now if you look at the second method output for this also the same behavior that is test initialize test method and test cleanup and if you look at that last method so test initialize test method test cleanup and the class cleanup so in other words you can say here this two method does not depend upon the number of times you have a test method so they will execute only once when the me test method will execute so this is the method which is going to execute first and this will be the last method which is going to execute at the last okay so the number of invocation count of this two method does not depend upon the number of test method you have on the other hand if you are using test initialize and test cleanup that totally depend upon the number of count you have of test methods okay and again this has to be static and the method which is using the attribute class inline should take the test context as a parameter The, now the rest of the attributes such as assembly initialize and assembly cleaner we will take in our next video. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.